Okay guys, what's going on? Been a while since I made a Reds video, but you know, we're coming on the brink of the offseason, so I thought it'd be a good time to come on here and just give you my offseason thoughts. You know, what they should do, what they've, I guess, done, and what, you know, they're kind of in the running for right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of free agents on the market, uh, so I think it's a good chance, you know, for us to just make a splash move. I mean, we've done, you know, a couple things so far. We you know we obviously re-signed Nick Martinez and we traded away Jonathan India and Joey Weimer uh, for Brady Singer. So I think that's a big, you know, addition to our rotation, which was like completely, completely banged up last year. And, uh, you know, he's a veteran. He has some experience in the league. So I think that, you know, he can add a lot, you know, stuff that he did from Kansas City. And now he can bring it to Cincinnati. I think it's a I think it's a pretty good trade, if I'm being honest. I mean, Jonathan India, yeah, like I said, you know, if you saw my video on the trade, he was a fan favorite and everything. I mean, Cincinnati loved him. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, business is business. And, uh, you know, I, I think we got a pretty good return uh, in Brady Singer. So, I can't say, you know, can't can't complain too much. Obviously, you know, signed Nick Martinez back. He was not very good as a starter, but he was, you know, very good in the bullpen. You guys saw that, especially in the second half. Um, biggest one of it all, though, we added one of the greatest managers of this generation, Terry Francona. So that's a great addition already. I'd say we're already shaping up to be a better team than last year, you know, with, you know, with the injuries um, and just like a, a new, you know, leader in the clubhouse. I think we have a great opportunity. But I want to talk to you about what we should do, in my opinion. I mean, we got to First of all, the outfield needs some work. I, I think I know we're in the running for some outfielders, but... It's going to need some, you know, it's going to need some work, you know, especially at the, I just don't, I just don't see enough from, you know, guys like Stuart Fairchild, Jake Fraley, all of them. I just didn't see enough from them. And I just think that we need to add a little bit of a, more of like a face that, you know, can really make an impact because right now I just don't see us, I don't see those guys, I just don't trust them. Um, and you know, Will Benson isn't cutting it either. Hopefully they can all find a new groove under a new leader who'll actually hold them accountable. You know, TJ Friedel, even, you know, he's been a little bit unhealthy and you know, he was healthy. Then he was, you know, got hurt again, but, um, Blake Dunn, you can forget about him as well. So, you know, I, I just think we got to add some names to this, you know, outfield that can really make a difference and, um, just keep exploring the market. You know, there's a lot of guys here. Um, and just build a balanced competitive roster, man. If you just continue, you know, you can't just be satisfied with, oh, we changed the manager. Oh, that's going to solve our problems. Because if that's the case, then, you know, that it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a need for a free agency or trade period where you, you know, look to get better both on and off the, you know, the baseball field. But that's just my two cents on what we should do. I have a wish list. Um, and then it includes, you know, obviously Tusker Hernandez. I mean, this dude can really, 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 really make an impact. And I hate to say this, it, I hate to say it this way, he has defensive issues, so he'd fit in right there with the Reds. Because the Reds, you guys know, they were the worst defense. Like, I mean, they, they allowed the most errors in the league, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, yeah, Tosca Hernandez is a great bat. He had 33 home runs last year. But at the end of the day, man, he does have defensive issues. But I still think he would be good, you know, a good fit for, uh, you know, this this team, I guess if you want to call it. It's not a batting order, but, you know, Anthony Santander, you know, he was at Baltimore, obviously. He played, um, <clears throat> I believe he played, he was an all-star. Yeah, he was an all-star last year. Now he's a free agent. So, you know, that would be a good thing. Just like Ellie, you know, he's a switch power hitter. So I think he would be a good fit as well. Um, you know, yeah, he was great last year. I mean, 44 home runs, that kind of says it all, man. Um, and then you look at Jerkson Profar. He also, you know, he played for, he's played, he has a lot of experience in the league. I mean, he played for, I believe, the Rangers, the Athletics, and, you know, the Padres, the Rockies. So he's got a lot in him. Um, I feel like the Padres might want him back. But, you know, I think it still, I, I still think that the Reds should definitely, you know, be interested in him. You know, I think that he can bring a lot as well. But most of all, if I'm being honest with you, this is my most important one. Tyler O'Neill, former St. Louis Cardinal, former Boston Red Sox. But our issues, and you guys know this, we sucked against lefties. Sucked against them. 
Like, we, we did not hit lefties well at all. I think this just adding this type of bat would really, 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 really help us. From a tutelage perspective, not just a playing perspective, but also just, like, you know, getting some confidence that, okay, this man's hitting lefties, we'll take his approach. So I think that he can offer a lot of, you know, mentorship, hopefully, you know. I don't even want to call it that, but, like, just you can you can watch him and see what what he does best. And lastly, I would say Jock Peterson. I mean, he bit... You know, last year, last year he batted 275. Um, he had over 100 hits, I believe, as well. Not many home runs. I think he only had, I think he had like 22, 23, something like that. But, you know, I think he'd be a good hit. I mean, he's he's always been good in the postseason. Um, you know, with the Diamondbacks last year, he was he had a solid season as well. So, yeah, I mean, that would be a good, you know, he, he I think he's a, yeah, he, did he win two World Series? Yeah, he won two World Series. But anyway, like, this guy... I think he could be a good fit. Like I think all these guys are great fits for the Reds. I mean, the only the one that would concern me the most obviously would be Tusker Hernandez because of his defensive issues. But at the end of the day, man, I think all these like could really really help the team. So I would love for the Reds to go out there and just sign one of these dudes, if not multiple. Even though I think one is realistic, but just gotta be aggressive. That's my only you know thing that I would love to you know kind of point out. I mean, you look at like. The Reds right now, I mean, they are in the running for, like, Garrett Crochet. I mean, he's a great high-potential pitcher as well. I mean, you look at our, like I said, you look at our injuries from all three positions, you know, or it, all three facets of the game, you know, bullpen, hitting, pitching, fielding, everything. You saw so, nothing but injuries, nothing but, like, just, it was just bad. It was hard to watch. Um, but, you know. I just don't. I just. I. 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 I want to. I want to believe that we can. You know, get someone like this, like maybe in a trade or something. I don't know, but I know that the Cubs and the us are on the also in the running for that. So maybe they find something to do with the White Sox. Um. But yeah, I would not want him to go to Chicago. I mean, that would not only is that a division rival, but that would just be. Ugh, I would not want that. But important thing, guys. If I if I had to stress one important thing, it's get the depth. We need depth. We need just. We, we can't just rely on one dude because, you know, that injury, like, almost everybody was banged up. I mean, Hunter Green was banged up last year. Lodolo was, like, in and out. Sims was also in and out, like, at the bullpen speaking. It was just, like, a – I could go down the list. Abbott also, Andrew Abbott. It was, it was a disaster in terms of injuries and just, like, performance on the field. So I think that we just need to – Tackle this offseason. I think getting a manager already is off to a great start. And my final takeaways, guys, build around the key hitters, improve the rotation, you know, improve it even more, I guess. And, heck, this guy, Alexis Diaz, he needs a bounce back as well. But, you know, focus on the contention in 2025. you got a window here. And, um, you know, it's going to be important. You know, we got to conv- combine the different – just use the free agency period but also the trade period. Just, like, just trade for depth. Add something that can really, you know, fill in a role for another person in case, you know, they get hurt. Depth is important here. And I think the Reds can be very good if they add some depth. But a contention season in 2025, I mean, that's the only thing I consider success. I want to play. I want to just make the playoffs, man. I really want to see this team in the playoffs. So, you know, that's just it. But, you know, like I said, I think we're already off to a better, uh, I guess, team start, you know, to the offseason because we did fire David Bell and we hired this dude. As I've said many times, one of the greatest managers of this generation, Tito, I'm so glad that he's in Cincinnati. I did not expect the Reds to go out there and get him. The fact that they got him was just incredible itself. And, um, yeah, I just can't wait to see what he does. I mean, you you saw Zach Kozar's tweets. You know, you saw a lot of Reds players' tweets, a lot of former Reds players' tweets, a lot of, you know, just people around the league. I mean, they all said, like, the Reds are going to be held accountable like crazy. Because Terry Francona is not like David Bell. He doesn't pat you on the back when you mess up. You know, he's a no BS kind of guy. So I think that getting the right players in for him, obviously, is crucial. But also just, you know, the fact that these players have a lot of potential. I think that Terry Francona can bring out the best of them, man. So we'll see what happens. You guys have a great one. Enjoy your day and enjoy the offseason to all Reds and baseball fans. And let's go Reds, man. Let's have a splash in the offseason. Have a good one, guys.